Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. This pick a card reading is about what you need to know right now, a guided message from the universe. So the first pile is the elephant, second pile is the fish, third pile is the wolf. So I am going to shuffle the cards on camera for each group. So let's get into your reading. Okay, group number one. So this card represents you. This card represents your current energy. This card is the message from the universe. And this card is the outcome of any situation or anything that you are dealing with at the moment. So interestingly enough, the elephant card, the elephant energy talks about basically like one of the things that the elephant energy is known for is tribal and being supportive of its tribe and its community and i can't help but noticing the the red stone and the third eye placement of the elephant and the the number the third eye is associated with the number six in numerology and here you are showing up as the six of wands in the upright position so back to the elephant, the elephant looks like it is carrying a fire, you know, a flame in its tusk. And then the wand card energy is a fiery energy. And this card showing you here, you know, you're sitting up on top of the horse and you have this wand in your hand. And basically this is you moving forward, moving forward, focus on the greater good of the collective, the greater good of your family, your community, those in your home. Because the number six energy talks about family, home, community, and responsibility. So you are someone who takes your responsibility very seriously. You're someone who takes your community very seriously and really care about the ones you love, your family members, and just basically the community on a whole. Because in number in numerology the number six energy is the energy that has to do with social work and all things social and those who are strongly associated with the number six energy like you know getting together with friends and family is super important to them and when it comes to the current energy that you're holding when it comes to just overall what you're going through right now which is beautiful is the six of swords in the upright position here again the number six energy is repeated so i could see you guys like i mentioned being very community group oriented type individuals and the energy you're holding is one where you are moving away from like something recently just happened in your life and i love how you're sitting up high on this horse you're sitting up on your high horse not in a negative way but because you are confident within yourself and you know what you are capable of basically you know you know you can overcome anything and i love how you are moving away from what no longer serves you if you notice here in the card the water is a little bit rough and the boat is moving towards smoother waters and the number on and the source energy talks about our mind so basically like you're moving away from a time and a mind space where you were probably dealing with anxiety, worries, fears, just a bunch of stress and unnecessary situations that you were going through. And the overall message that the universe, you know, your spirit guides would like for you to know is that you are always correct when it comes to your intuition. Because here, the moon card in the reversal position, like when the moon card is in the upright position, you know, these two animals, they're looking at the moon and they're howling. And moon energy for me talks about basically like revealing what's in the dark. That's why on full moons or during full moons, like 
things always come to culmination because what we can normally pretend about, hide from, and act like isn't present, during a full moon, we cannot hide or pretend anymore. An example that I like to give is like a dark closet and putting brighter bulbs or more bulbs into the closet. That's full moon energy because with brighter bulbs, it's like you can see in the corners. You can see things that were hidden from you before. Now things are in plain sight and, you know, like basically what your intuition was telling you in the past, you know, maybe if you didn't trust it, now it's in plain sight. But the message that you need to know is that you are correct. You are correct in walking away. Like both of these cards, these people are moving forward. They are moving in that direction means that they are moving forward. And I love that. So you walking away from this thing that wasn't working for you is correct. And just because people and things are familiar doesn't mean that they're good for us. You know, a lot of the times we allow our family members and friends who hold seniority in our life, we allow them to do a lot of damage just because of, of their seniority. When your intuition has been telling you for a very long time that, you know, this friendship is no longer working, this connection is no longer working, or maybe even this relationship is no longer working. But because of the fact that it is familiar, it is community oriented, and maybe with this people, you know, or person, you guys have mutual friendships and you don't want to, you know, like basically ruin your connections or friendships by walking away, but you've decided to walk away and the universe is telling you that you are correct for walking away because if you didn't walk away there, you would have been stuck experiencing Groundhog Day which is you experiencing the same situation over and over again, hoping for a different result where you walking away, put yourself in the position to receive better, to attract better things that are coming your way. And the overall outcome of this is the Knight of Swords in the reversal position. And the Knight of Swords in the reversal position basically talks about you taking your time when it comes to your thoughts. You taking your time to see things clearly, opposed to being immature and acting on impulse. You taking the time to check in with yourself, allow your third eye to show you what time it really is. Because with you guys showing up and being represented by the number six energy, this tells me that you guys have really strong prophetic dreams. Like you guys are able to go to sleep and, you know, especially if you remember your dreams, because some people will say, well, I don't remember my dreams. And I find that we don't remember our dreams for a few reasons. You know, one, like smoke and weed will stop you from remembering your dreams or even abusing like, you know, alcohol and certain things like that, or even certain foods basically will stop you from remembering your dreams. And then sometimes like just not having faith, not trusting will stop us from remembering and also just jumping up instantly in the morning without laying there for a second and reflecting but with the number six energy showing up to represent you guys it's like i can tell you guys have strong premonition your third eye energy is on point so you guys are the type of people that have prophetic dreams like i mentioned you could go to sleep and have a dream and wake up you know and just know exactly what's going to happen and you have the ability to project into a room and create the kind of environment that you want whether that is positive or a negative, but either way, you guys are extremely important. And the message from the universe is that to trust your intuition, always trust your intuition. And you did the right thing for what you did the right thing by walking away or making a change because this thing wasn't working for you. When you look at the water being rough here, it's like our emotions play such a big part in our lives that we don't we take it for granted and don't even realize how much of a big difference it makes in the sense that stress kills. So when our emotions is out of whack and it stays that way consistently, that could negatively affect our health. So you walking away from something that wasn't working for you, that was messing with your mind, overwhelming you and stressing you out is self-love and the best thing that you could have done for yourself. 
Group number one, if you guys are still here, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a green heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Group number two, those of you who chose the fish, automatically I see a theme showing up, which is the moon energy. And okay, so basically the moon energy represents you. And with the moon energy representing you, I see you as someone who is very intuitive and I mentioned the moon energy showing up here with the fish and the fish represents water. The moon represents our intuition and water represents our emotions. So basically you are someone who is super intuitive, someone who has strong intuitions and the ability to see things, feel things and understand things that most people cannot. But the challenge here is that you do not trust yourself so instead of trusting your intuition the premonition and the guidance that you are getting it's like you're sitting back so an example you're the type of person that will say okay universe give me a sign and then a sign comes and you're like okay that is a sign but give me another sign just to be sure okay that's a sign but give me another sign just to be sure and it's like there's it's like, how many signs do you need before you trust yourself? You know, like you drive yourself crazy asking for these signs and the signs keep showing up, but then you just ask for another sign. So yeah, you're someone that needs to trust yourself, trust your intuition. And because you don't trust yourself or trust your intuition, and in fact, probably afraid of your intuition, afraid of the premonitions, the dreams, or even afraid of seeing spirits and things like that, like that creates a lot of anxiety where your mind is probably always busy going at a thousand miles per hour, where you feel the need to constantly distract yourself from yourself, afraid of what you might see or hear. When it comes to the current energy that you're holding, it's the six of cups in the reversal position. The number six energy talks about our third eye, our third eye chakra. Again, that taps back into what I'm saying about the moon energy and having strong premonition and being able to see things and understand things on a level that most people cannot. And the six and the six energy also talks about community. And the cups energy talks about emotions. So in the reversal position here, it could be an imbalance going on when it comes to your emotions because of your premonition, your intuition and the guidance that you are getting. And the number six energy could also talk about a problem or challenge going on when it comes to your relationship, something going on with your family members. A lot of the times for a lot of us sensitive people, when one aspect of our life is out of balance, it kind of throws everything off. So say you're not getting along good with your significant other or your family members. It's like the stress could be so overwhelming that it throws off your intuition because the stress creates anxiety. And, you know, it's like when we're dealing with anxiety, it's like experiencing a chemical imbalance. And it's hard for us to trust what we're perceiving, what we're feeling, you know, what's going on. And at the same time, we tend to project into our reality and, you know, manifest negative outcomes, ne manifest things that we don't really want, you know, manifest things, you know, that we don't want to have nothing to do with. So the message here is to do one thing at a time. It's like you guys are trying to juggle a million different things at one time. And in the process of juggling a million different things at one time, it's like basically nothing is coming from it. It's like trying to start 10 businesses at one time. 
So because you're trying to start 10 businesses at one time, you're spreading yourself thin. And in the process of spreading yourself thin, you're no good to any of them. So it's like, yeah, you're working on 10 different things at one time, but are you experiencing any progress in any of those 10 different things at one time? So the message here is to slow down slow down and focus on one thing at a time like an example that i love to give when it comes to like starting a business it's like starting a business is like giving birth it's like having a baby and giving birth to it you know once the baby is inside the stomach you know basically that's us coming up with the ideas and putting paper to pencil and doing all the making taking all the necessary steps in order to give birth to something tangible that we can experience on a physical level. And once that child is here, once that business is present, it's like a child, you know, it doesn't bring anything to the table and we give into it according to potential. So based on the potential of this thing, we will continue to nurture it. And after a while, you know, you continue to nurture this dream, this goal, this business, and it matures into a, a, a it matures into a child, an adult that can now take care of itself and then later taking care of you to where it's making you breakfast in bed, it's paying all your bills, and now you can go back and invest in other things. And it's important to trust your intuition also. Because you could read all the books you want about business, but books are not going to turn you into an entrepreneur because an entrepreneur is a risk taker and no one can teach you how to take risk. That is where you have to trust your intuition and just know that the universe is working for your greater good. And regardless of what happens, everything is working for your greater good. So whenever we trust and we operate from a place of trust, regardless of what happens, we'll only see the best in it. And from that, we'll manifest and project good things into our reality. So it's super important for you guys to focus on one thing at a time. Trust your intuition. Build up a relationship with your intuition, your premonition, and just basically just trust know that the universe has your back everything is working out for your greatest good everything always works out for your greatest good trust that move forward with that knowing and just watch how things work itself out the fish energy here reminds me of community just like the six of cups and which is the current situation in the reversal position and this, the community, the reason why fish reminds me of community, because often we see, you know, a school, we see schools of fish, you know, they're grouped together and they're traveling as one. And when it comes to the current energy here, the current energy is something going on with community that's not working out in your favor or that's challenging you. So maybe you're trying to juggle too many things, taking on too much responsibility for your family members, the people in your community, your relationship, regardless. It's important for you to put yourself first. Use your, trust your intuition and put yourself first. Because with you showing up as the moon energy, you're very nurturing and mothering. Whether you are male or female, you like to nurture others. So because of that, it's so easy for others to take advantage of that kind of energy because you're so quick to help without allowing others to ask for the help that they need. So, you know, be careful of the unnecessary responsibilities that you're taking on, trying to juggle too many things at once. And in the process of trying to juggle too many things at once, it's like the outcome that you're getting is not what you deserve. And you can get a better outcome if you would slow down, stay still, trust your intuition, go within yourself to get the proper guidance instead of just acting from fear you know, act from a place of peace, calm, and guidance, and watch how things work itself out. Group number two, if you are still here with me, I would love to hear that. Please let me know by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I look forward to hearing from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Wolf Gang, group number three.
Group number three, for those of you who has chosen the wolf, the first card that represents you is the page of pentacles in the reversal position. The card that represents your current, the current energy that you're holding is the wheel of fortune. The card that represents the message is the page of cups and the outcome is the seven of wands in the reversal position. So looking at the cards, having the wolf card as the first card that you guys chose tells me that basically like looking at the wolf here, the message or the thought that comes to mind is basically feed me, throw me to the wolves and I lead the pack. So what I'm getting is outcast vibes from you guys. Yes, wolf energy talks about tribes and a bunch of other things. But what spirit is showing me is outcast type energy. Like basically that's the energy you're holding. That's what you're feeling at the moment. And the card that represents you is the page of pentacles in the reversal position. So right now you guys may have might be struggling with some limiting beliefs, like seeing yourself in a way that is not, that is just, that doesn't serve you. Like this energy doesn't represent who you truly are because like you guys are leaders, but something recently happened that kind of devastated you and caused you to kind of see things in a bit of a pessimistic way, especially like, like you probably, okay, so what's coming to mind is how certain people will say, oh, they're realists. And my thing to that is, are you sure you're a realist or a pessimist? So in the process of looking at things in a way that you might think is realistic, it's really causing you to look at things in more of a pessimistic light. You know, that's like when we watch the news too much and after watching the news too much, we start to become fearful and we start to do things that seems to be practical and by the book. But at the same time, that practicality and by the book thing is holding us in a system in a way that is that doesn't work for us. And it's obviously obvious that that way doesn't work because it's not working for the collective. Like I think about how, you know, millionaires, how self-made billionaires aren't educated, aren't college educated, but yet still the system is saying in order to achieve this, this or that, this is how you do it. When the people who have done it, that's not how they've done it. So be careful of what you are subscribing to and the information that you're consuming because it is causing you to think in a way that you may perceive as practical, but that practicality is closing doors instead of opening them. And the current energy is the wheel of fortune energy. So you want to manifest things into your life. It's like someone who believes that one day they will win the lottery or they want to win the lottery. They want to attract abundance and the finer things in life. But in the process of them trying to attract abundance and the finer things in life, the approach that they're going towards, the, the approach that they're taking is one that is actually doing the opposite. Like what comes to mind here is the alchemist. In the alchemist, a part in the story where the um the man, I forgot the name of the man who owned a bunch of books and he was taking all his books along with him to Egypt while they were on the caravan, I think, going into the desert. And basically he thought he was going to read his way into being an alchemist. And when they got to the alchemist, the alchemist told him to keep working because he's not there yet and chose Santiago who haven't, didn't read a book in his life and basically have been living by just personal experience, being guided by his intuition and premonition. And this is where the message from the universe comes in, the page of cups in the reversal position and page energy talks about our emotions and emotions talk about our intuition and it is very important for us to trust our intuition and in order for us to understand our intuition on a deeper level we have to trust our emotions allow our emotions to guide us and learn how to cipher through our emotions and what will help us to become better at this is meditation the more time we spend in silence, 
the more we're able to quiet down our minds and then become a witness of the thoughts that are happening in our head. And after a while of slowing down the traffic in our minds by bringing our awareness to our physical, you know, the physical feelings that we're having in our bodies or just our awareness to like, you know, the way how the wind feels against your skin, the way how your hair feels against your skin if you have hair. Bring your awareness to your breathing. As long as we're witnessing something happening within or outside of us, our minds cannot think at the same time. So that slows down traffic. And then we're, we're able to be better witnesses of what we're feeling. And we're able to guide ourselves from our intuition and even realize how telepathic we actually are. So the message is to trust your intuition. And at the same time too, you know, this could be someone who might think it's okay to have a couple beers every every evening or a glass of wine every evening or smoke some weed and things like that. Like it is your business how you choose to relax, but understand that basically the way how we choose to escape reality and relax, even food is a distraction, distracting us from ourselves. So we are practically going through life numbing ourselves in order to cope and doing what we're told is okay. And basically that is far from the truth because it's keeping us away from ourselves. It's like how we've been marketed to, to have a glass of coffee every morning to start the day when the coffee is basically overstimulating us, causing us to be in a fight or flight mode at all times, making it impossible for us to know when our intuition is telling us to run or not. And the news actually has that same effect on us, believe it or not. So that's why it is super important to pay attention to how you are overstimulating yourself. And if you want to get to a place where you are guided from within, it's important to trust your intuition and spend more time in silence so that you can slow down the traffic of your mind and basically see how different thoughts and emotions will show up and how you can connect those thoughts and emotions to practical things in the environment. An example might be you're sitting on your couch and you're looking out the window and you're just observing what's going on outside at the same time as you observing your breathing. And all of a sudden a feeling of anxiety come over you and you can't explain it. And then the phone rings and there's someone on the other hand and who is frantic because of something that happened. In that moment, there something practical was able to confirm and validate what you are picking up emotionally and intuitively. But the only way to clear up those channels is by spending time in silence and at the same time fasting from stimulants because stimulants are such a distraction that it's hard to tell what's you and what's like, it's hard to tell what kind of communication you're experiencing. And the outcome of this situation, the outcome of overall this message is the seven of wands in the reversal position. So the seven of wands is in the upright position is someone who is on the defense, feeling the need to defend themselves. But in the reversal position, you are realizing that there is no need to defend yourself or even, or even comp compete when it comes to anything in life because the universe is so huge and we all want different things. So because we all want different things, basically there is no need for fear when it comes to us moving towards whatever it is that we want to move towards. There's no need for fear. There's no need to compete. There's no need to defend anything. We wake up and we trust and we know. And with the trusting and the knowing, we move forward towards whatever it is that we want to move forward towards. And, you know, basically magic happens. The magic that you are trying to manifest in your life at this moment will just come to you. But first you have to trust and move into your wolf energy. The wolf energy being bold, being, being bold and determined and just fearless. It's important for you to step into your fearless energy and understand that you trying to be practical and making sense out of everything and mental and, and putting everything into, uh, departments. Like the word that I'm trying to say is compartmental compart. Uh, I can't say at the moment, 
but you trying to put everything into its own department and you know practicalizing everything and being so concrete it's it is impossible to be practical and intuitive at the same time yes your intuition yes practicality can help confirm your intuition like i mentioned you had the emotion the intuitive feeling that came over you and then something practical happened that validated but you can't use practicality in a certain sense to you know make sense of certain things you just have to trust and know trust what you're feeling observe it and watch it play itself out but before you could get to the point where you can truly trust it is important to not be overstimulated because the stimulants makes it so hard for us to truly know if we are being guided and communicated to by our higher self or source or we are just having a chemical imbalance from you know what's going on in our digestion you guys if you are still here with me i would love to hear that please let me know by dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does take care of yourself and i look forward to seeing you in the next video